Hey guys, I'm going to make this quick and easy for uh, all technical experience levels for fixing the frame times in not only CS2, but like any game. Um, so first thing you're going to need is a MSI Afterburner, and it comes with an installation for uh, RTSS, Reva Tuner Statistics Server, whatever the fuck. You're going to want to install them both. Uh, ignore that. And when you launch it, it's going to, should be launching both. Right, it's gonna look like this, and then you're gonna have the little MSI afterburner icon. Looks like fucking that shit, right? Uh, after you do that, um, you're gonna go want to go in the settings, and um, I'm gonna put the downloads for and everything you need in the description. By the way, uh, you're gonna want to go into the settings, and uh, for um, we're gonna make sure want to make sure both are running. This is important, so uh, you get all these tabs, and once you get all those. Uh, the most important one, I'd say, just put at least these two, frame rate and frame time. You're going to put frame rate, put in show on on-screen display, check that. And frame time, you're going to want to check that and then do text graph. All right. So, and then you're going to want to hit OK. You can minimize these both now. Make sure they're running in the background. So now we're going to go into the launch options of uh, CS2. And uh, we're going to need to put the launch option, right? Dash allow underscore third underscore party un uh, underscore software I'll put that in the description and once you have that uh, now you can launch the game uh, now note this will technically lower your choice factor a little bit um, it's not that big of a deal I'd rather have a playable game okay now I'm gonna give an example of why your frame times might seem really fucked up if you see there in the graph at the top left they fucking it's spiking the entire time it's really bad and it's quite annoying. So to fix this, we're going to want to find our minimum frame rate, and we're going to want to cap it around that point. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our system tray and double click uh, RTSS and uh, add CS2.exe, or you can use global. That applies to every game. If you want to do that, go ahead. But for my case, I added CS2. And your install location is going to be your uh, your Steam apps folder, wherever your Steam shit is. Um, and you're going to go to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, where you install Counter-Strike normally. And then go to Game, Bin, Win64, CS2. Mine's already there. So you're going to add it, and you're going to just ca put your frame rate limit at whatever your lowest frame rate minimum is. Uh, I'm going to do 144 because that's my refresh rate and I know it's extremely safe. And now we see the frame times. We have a little bit more of a delay. It's 6.9 milliseconds. But it's basically a perfect frame time now. Uh, this will make your shit feel a lot smoother, especially if it was spiking a lot worse than mine was. Um, it's still going to move a little bit, like right here. See when the, the round resets and shit? That's normal for it to spike. But now your frame times should be fixed and should feel a lot smoother. This works on any game. Uh, if you have any game with frame time issues, uh, just mess around with this. Lower your, uh, your shit. Lower your uh, frame rate. And it should feel a lot better for just any game in general. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind. It's very important. Frame times are more important than frame rates in computing. And I highly recommend just, you know, capping your frames in terms of uh, fucking frame times, especially if you this is like a FPS. It makes a huge difference sometimes. I don't know why Valve shipped the game like this. Like every computer I've tried it on has frame times that like that are spiking like that. It's really bad, it's really annoying, and I don't get why it shipped like this. I don't know what they were thinking and I don't think it's acceptable. But um yeah use this fix and uh, for now and fuck your trust factor dude. Uh, if you're not hacking, you're not hacking. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, it is what it is.